thyroid hormone will, will do all kinds of things throughout the whole body. Um, it literally every cell of the body um, will have some response to thyroid hormone, yeah. except red blood cells because they don't have nucleus. Um, but but the thyroid will tell the cell every cell to do all kinds of things. At the muscle cells, it will induce mitochondrial biogenesis. It's one of its many many variables, and that's that's kind of essential in a ketogenic state because if you are in ketosis, your primary fuels at the moment are fats, and you can only burn fats in the mitochondria. And it's interesting to note that. Um, thyroid, which is the body appears to be more sensitive to thyroid hormone in a ketogenic state. It's basically facilitating the production of mitochondria to enable the body to burn the fats better as it is in a higher fat burning state. Now, thyroid hormone actually does kind of similar things at fat cells where thyroid hormone can induce the synthesis of mitochondria and fat, and fat cells as well and make the increase the metabolic rate in the fat cells by activating this uncoupling of the mitochondria. So thyroid hormone does that at fat cells, but it doesn't do that at muscle cells. And muscle cells, it just tells the muscles to make new mitochondria. And all of it may be with the purpose of just burning fat a little better. Levothyroxine, which is a, a medication for people right. with hypothyroidism, is the second most commonly prescribed drug in the entire United States. I believe it. That, that to me is mind-blowing. It is shocking to me. And, and to me, whenever I hear this kind of statistic, I think, well, it's not like we, we're evolving to lose our thyroid hormone, our thyroid gland. This, ha this is not a genetic phenomenon. This is an environmental effect. We, there are people who are inadvertently exposing themselves to a way of eating and, and the chemicals or the molecules in those foods that are potentially damaging their thyroid gland. It's, it's just shock. And of course, a lot of that would be autoimmune, like with, right. with Hashimoto's. And anytime you're talking about an autoimmune disease, um, females are always going to be my impact, almost always going to be more impacted than males because of the relevance of estrogen actually is kind of somewhat contributing to autoimmune diseases.